Hi and welcome to Add More Zest with Diamonds. My name's Rebecca and I've got some goodies to share with you today from GBFKE. So I have this contraption, which I will show you in a bit, and I also have a couple of paintings. So we'll start with the holiday that comes first. So this painting is Halloween-ish. More autumn than Halloween, so it's not really a holiday. Oh, these are different. So, this is very much like a Huracan type canvas. Um, it is, it's got the symbols, the DMC, the quantity, the numbers, that sort of layout's the same. Whether it's just the same manufacturing company, um, the canvas is actually quite thin but still sturdy, though this is a poured glue which makes it slightly different. So let me grab my canvas. So this is uh, my tape measure. So this is down to 30 by 40, whereas the actual size is 24 by 34. So the border is sort of included in this one, but it is two little pumpkins. Uh, so you can see here, it's like got little hearts hanging off some of the little wisps of the pumpkin on the top one. And then we've got the orange pumpkin further down. This one is a square painting. It does come with a rather nice toolkit. So we've got the white boat, we've got a pen with a squishy, we've got a multi-placer, tweezers and the wax in that one. And the colours all come in baggies, which is always nice. A little bit less de-kitting. So they do come with the DMC number on. So it's the number seven, four, nine, eight, and then it tells you this 2,458 diamonds and if you go to the canvas for number seven, 498, the canvas actually needs 2,235 but you do get more. So they're all stickered up like that. These are some of the really nice autumnal colours. So 310 we do have quite a bit of but then oh look at that gorgeous sort of orangey colour. We've got some with a very slight hint of green but that will bring in different shading in this big pumpkin. We've got some pinks, burgundies, a little bit of bright green. Is that is that the one I like? Is that 907? No it's 704. Close though, close. Uh, then we've got, say, the big burgundy, some more burnt orange colours, some lighter colours for shading, a little bit of purplish. Yes, beautiful colours in that one. And you get a nice design on the background as well of the image. So it's not just a plain background. So that is painting number one. And then number two, so the other sort of holiday this one is a Christmas one we've had quite a bit of Christmas in October and we are keeping it going so this one is is this also a square it is this one is also a square same sort of layout in relation to the canvas this one has 35 colors so quite a few more colors in this one but we have a nice Christmas tree all in the back of the car, fully decorated. I note, I only wish they came that way sometimes. Um, it is 24 and a half centimetres, this one, by 34. And we do, again, get the nice toolkit with this one. It is still poured glue because it has the clear cover. And the diamonds for this one all the symbols are for you doing it that way, so the image is that way. Actually, I quite like that idea of doing a painting this way and then turning it round and seeing the full effect. Makes it a little bit different, doesn't it? Got colours for this one. 
let's just get a few but we've got quite a few more colors brighter colors in this one so we've got purples reds a few different shades of greens and grays some gorgeous blues quite a bit of this one which is this one 3865 as you can imagine it is a winter scene but then we've got some more really nice greens browns just hints of them do get some black quite a bit of this pink 819 that always shows across quite well uh, in snow it really does help with the shading but then we've got some blues pinks purples browns just all the colors all the colors to help make up this amazing image actually i think the blockiest thing is the front of this car and maybe some of the bits in the snow and then we've got some more pastel colors brighter colors in there so that is painting number two and then Last but by no means least, we have this tool, which you may wonder, what is this? It's a bit like one of those tube things. No, it is in a tube. It's a bit like one of those, you know, those noise maker things that you tip from one side and it goes whoop, whoop, whoop. No, that's just a protective tube. This is the tool itself. And this is awesome for ABs. So this is one of those pick me up pens, but with actual covers on. So this has got that harder wax, which is great for picking up AB diamonds. And then on the other end, you do have that fine pointer one, which you can pop in some wax or maybe some glue, if you could get a glue dot in in the end, for help picking up some of those really intricate pieces. Um, sometimes I just use this end more for nudging things into place when working on special diamond paintings. Uh, but this end is very useful for using with ABs. Uh, of course, you get quite big handles on them so that they're still a pen when you take the top off either side. But yeah, that is the selection for today. So thank you so much to GBFKE for sending me these to share with you all. I will, of course, pop links to them all below. And there is quite a few different colours of these pens if you do want to check them out. But thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.